This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, who should I show my poem to first? Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. Monica's like, um, I literally started the club. Yuri seems like she's the smartest. <laughs> and also by far the cutest. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? Uh, what was that? I mean, you wrote all 20 words <laughs> that, that I like. Do you have any idea how hard that is? <laughs> D did I say that out loud? Yuri covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh, he's going to hate me. Why would I hate you for, tell for you telling me that your my poem is exceptional? That's like the opposite. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Uh, that's... Uh, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Uh, <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates that you've written a lot of poetry before. Nope! I just time-traveled until I got the right one. <laughs> really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, and then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that! I just meant... Uh, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form-fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem, and that's why I don't write poems. One of many reasons. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. And only Natsuki, clearly. Biased? How? Um, well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which is itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? No, everyone just hides their stuff. Yeah, I've seen this poem before, alright? I've seen it. Uh, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. Yeah, it was so bad I didn't even look at it. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. I literally had it on screen for two seconds! <laughs> Yuri, how fast do you expect the average schmo to read? First it was reading the book and she's like, I'm done. I, like, can we turn the page now? Like, God. And now, now she's literally just like, <laughs> you only looked at it for two seconds. You clearly must have hated it because you took so long to read it. Um, well, I just don't read script very often, so I just decided to not. <laughs> I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. I think all of this is the same as before. Yeah, all that's the same as the first time we did this. Alright. Hey, Monica. Hi, Artie! Having a good time so far? Oh, yeah, the best, except for having to time travel. Oh, yeah? Good! Glad to hear it! By the way, since you're new in everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening! Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Artie. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mmm! Great job, Artie! I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect for you to go something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. <laughs> I underestimated you. How about this? <laughs> it's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. 
That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Um, yes! Do you have any idea the torment I had to go through in order to make it sure it was perfect? <laughs> writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, and STEALING HALF OF YURI'S WORDS, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. Wow, um, <laughs> is that a compliment or a criticism? I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. Do your own thing. Yeah, good. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying the different things a lot. It's almost like I have a time machine. All right, we've seen Monica's poem before. Happy doop doop doop. Let's go to and say, uh, see Sayori. This should be new dialogue for the most part. Wow, Artie, your poem is really bad. <laughs> I've never seen her say that before! What a savage! Wow, Sayori! <laughs> she knew- Sayori knows I was insulting her while writing the poem, and that's why she- Wow! Who knew Sayori was so cutthroat? Ha 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 ha! It's fine, it's fine! It's your first time. This time Sayori's actually seen it as 20 random words. Besides, I'm really happy that just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you really are a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Artie. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, right? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if... Oh, I think all of this is the same. Yep. Wow, so Sayori just is like, wow, your poem sucks, frozen in the trash. Mine's way better. Thanks, Sayori, I didn't know you could be that mean. All right, Natsuki. She's gonna hate this. Artie, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. W what? Harsh. I'm not sure if that's necessarily as harsh as Sayori just saying that our poem was the worst. <laughs> What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? I have a feeling that we just hypnotized Yuri, and everybody else is like, your poem is the worst, but at least Monica was trying to be kind of nice about it. <laughs> Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer! Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in the effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Change everything. Use every bar to this is terrible. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. That was stupid. I didn't even look at it. All right, now Yuri and Sayori get into a... F not Sayori. Yuri and Natsuki get into a fight, and this time we're siding with Yuri, because we're buttering up to her. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone else's opinion is different. <laughs> Hello, Rob Master. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. If you slap me with a dictionary, it's a physical or verbal abuse. Oh, oh that's a good pun. I love it. It counts as both. <laughs> Natsuki, you shouldn't pick a fight with someone just because their opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Well, I skipped through the whole thing, so I don't even really care. <laughs> Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri? Uh-huh. You're a seriously talented writer, unlike some people. <laughs> it's no secret that I was impressed. But, well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is... They're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said that her poem was cute. Alright! <laughs> Thanks for the lurk. You you do that. Hey, uh, hey, Proxima! Welcome, welcome! Yeah, we're, b we're back for Halloween stream, except this time it's not Halloween. I see. I didn't notice that I... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Natsuki, you took it way too far! 
Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fists. And makes a sound like a model airplane. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, at this point being defiant only because she can't, can't handle the pressure. Yeesh! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so you're, you're, this ain't your first rodeo then, Rob. Alright, <laughs> excellent. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Also, get, get cookies. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumbles up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki... She really didn't need to do that. Yeah, my poem was the one that needed to go into the trash can, apparently. <laughs> I look across the room. Interesting. Oh man, yeah. There, DDLC has so many mods. Monica's interesting, because, like, she's probably my least favorite in the base game, but she can be really great in the mods. I don't know. I got mixed feelings about this. Sayori's still my favorite, though. <laughs> Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri! How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Artie. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as a part of this club now. Um, it's nothing. One more thing? Um, that one thing that Natsuki said. About, you know, I don't know, I skipped the whole thing. I would never do anything so shameful. So... Huh? What thing did Natsuki say? Yes, see? We skipped it, so we'd have no memory of it. Um, well, never mind that. Uh, I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah, but I only have one teapot left, or however you do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was aware of what she was doing. I was <laughs> It was meta joke, because the last time I streamed this, it was Halloween, which was a while ago. <laughs> and now I'm only now just finishing it up. Okay, everyone! It's just about time for us to leave! How did you all feel about sharing poems? I've, I've beaten this game before, I'm just doing it on stream. It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. I thought, I thought you were gone! <laughs> I thought you left, Natsuki. I guess I'm glad to have you back. It was alright. Well, mostly. Artie, how about you? I'd say the same. <laughs> alright. Poetry, round two in the Yuri route. Okay. Agonizing. Despise. This time we don't have to get it perfect. So, this should hopefully be a lot more interesting. <laughs> you must forgive. I'm still going to try my best, though. Uncontrollable. Portrait. Vitality. Uh. Uh. Tenacious. Intellectual. Heaven sent. Unrequited is Sayori. We'll give one Sayori word. Just to make her feel good, and so she won't insult us next time we show her our poems. There you go, Sayori. Oh, nice! I I either could write poetry and it would be terrible, or I can't. I can't decide. It's another day. Let's skip! And then Natsuki slaps Sayori. Sayori eats her cookie as revenge. Yes, yes. All right, here we go. Hey, Yuri. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, I suddenly noticed that Yuri's reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Dude, a year where... Frog and Toad are friends and... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Hero, for the follow. Oh. You're watching one of my streams. Oh boy. <laughs> I can explain. This, this is a really weird one. <laughs> But here we go! <laughs> also, this is not family-friendly for anyone who is wondering. Uh, I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Yeah, dude. 
She expected you already finished Frog and Toad are friends. Now she's moved on to a year with Frog and Toad. Like, it's a book you can read in one sitting. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, interrupt. Uh, no, I was just kind of waiting for you. Oh, if that's the case, uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make any reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up, makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts with her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Bring me some Kool-Aid! <laughs> I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Well, this is different from Act 2. <laughs> hmm? Where are you two off to? Uh? Oh, we're just, uh... Yuri was gonna go make some tea, so... I suddenly realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. She wants to make sure we ain't ditching the club. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? Monica, read the room, alright? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Wow, Yuri! <laughs> or do you want to tell me that there's something wrong with helping involve Artie in club activities? Uh-huh! My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> then let's go, Artie. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri, I just... Something about the way she said that made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri, I think you did the right thing. She sucks. We know how much she sucks. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Artie, how come when, even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? It's, it's because, uh, I, I don't want to answer that. Because, nothing you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. But you ha always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, n no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of a friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh, um... Yuri lifts her head. Artie, I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway! Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. It's so romantic. <laughs> Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Monica's crying! <laughs> Oh no! Lay gasp! Artie, do you like oolong tea? I'm more of a water man myself. <laughs> Just drinks from the water pitcher. Uh, yeah. Anything is fine when I'm with you. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Fahrenheit or Celsius? Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I wouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Mm, perhaps I will! Sure! <laughs> Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. <laughs> Don't burn the water! That would be terrible! <laughs> When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Artie. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. 
I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. <laughs> what? Uh, let's be honest. What can't you fry? You can fry ice cream. Nothing else will surprise me at this point. Artie, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Huh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. Can you fry nothing? Yes, you can fry nothing. It's called eating healthy, healthily. <laughs> I just have to have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. Well, chronic back pain runs in her family, alright? It's most likely because my... Uh, my... Your posture, right? A wink. Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolates as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. <laughs> I take it since it'll go with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. Sayori's like, Someone say candy! <laughs> As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Lude! Can't do this. I can't see too well. Here he slides closer until our shoulders are touching. No! We can't do this yet! How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle! Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Oh no! Psh! Spilled the tea all over the book! No! <laughs> because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest! Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. She's off in Zabu land now. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Ex yeah, exactly. That's clearly what she's talking about, Rob. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's okay. I won't take any. Huh? Are you sure? I mean, it is... <laughs> it is Godiva. All right, fine. <laughs> well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Oh, you're right. All right, I guess I'll eat them. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. And then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here! I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh huh. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did we craft? <laughs> that's, that's the most boring witchcraft I've ever seen, then. Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Artie... Sorry! Guess I, uh, shouldn't have done that. Yuri, you ain't gonna go crazy on me like you did in Act 2, are you? Oh, that's... Well, you were just helping. That's something that friends do. Right? I mean, not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah! That's all it was. It was a friendship chocolate <laughs> kiss. <laughs> yeah! Then... Oh, shoot, that's her. You don't need to stop or anything. I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book. But it's snowing in this room, so it's hard to concentrate. But I can tell just by her expression that she can't even focus now. My heart is pounding. It's going doki-doki. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. Are you going to give it to me or what? <laughs> How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. You're trying to make this super romantic. It's really not that romantic. Ugh. Just like before, Yuri parts her lips. She's she, Her face right now is like, Give me the chocolate. Now. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. 
I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone! Wah! Ah! Yuri jolts back. Oh, chocolate! <laughs> Monica helps herself. It's time to share poems! Artie, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course! Okay, thanks! The spell is abruptly broken. She's doing it on purpose! Oh, oh! I thought she was going to make a fret towards Monica. I'll take care of the cups. I'm going to kill Monica for that! Yeah, me too! Yuri picks the teacups off from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. How big a bag we talking? Is this like Costco... Oh man, Santa was really generous this year, chocolates? Or is this just like, oh, I bought it at the checkout line? <laughs> Yeesh. What did I just read? <laughs> I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without as so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something that neither of us will have the courage to bring up. 